Can anyone unseat the Patriots? The coach take the Lincoln Tunnel through oh, Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, we get the season started with an AFC East tilt right off the bat between the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets. And look at this, right away a loose football. Now this is picked up by the Bills, and his guys are gonna get the football at the 28-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielded. kick you don't hear tuck it away yeah. tuck it away tuck it away and this time they turned it over ball security eluded him this is the third round pick out of FAU Devin Singletary Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. You know, projections for him were a little all over the board. Some saw him as a day three pick, maybe a little bit higher, but here he is round three. I do know teams that had him listed as a first-round talent. I also had teams that had him listed as a day three guy, which is rounds four through seven. So him going in the third round kind of fit in the middle. I think he's going to have a chip on his shoulder wanting to prove that he should have been taken higher. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago, really it grades out as a pretty darn good class. So you have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization, general manager, personnel department, college scouts, all came together. They evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff. <laughs> It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. And his kick is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. This one taken from the seven. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 24. Off of play action, Darnold. Well, he's going to take a shot right away, and that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Le'Veon Bell's first carry as a New York Jet. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Darnold from the gun. Gets this one to Le'Veon Bell. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. That's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody coming. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. On second down now. It's Bell. They find some open field here. And a well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. 
And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A good pickup there, 21 yards. On first down, it's Darnold. Open man left side, that's the tight end, Herndon. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Darnold, caught here by Griffin. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Bell. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. 14 yards. And the Jets have taken the lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. Extra point yeah. right down the middle, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Now this throw caught left side, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. On first down, Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Throwing again, Allen. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can what split the out like on. receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly. Just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. Go for the guy on the fly, but as you see. Yeah, the ball is knocked out, and it's scooped up by the Jets. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Greedy Williams, the rookie from LSU. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Now that was a beautiful play, a pick six. But how would you punctuate something like that, partner? What, you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 10 to seven. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. This one taken just inside the 10. 
and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 26. Here's Darnold. It's caught by Quincy Anunua. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Here's Bell. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Getting the sense, Charles, are going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Montez Sweat brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. Darnold and the Jets come up third and long following the sack. Third and long, it's Darnold. Airing one out for Crowder. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. This is the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. you got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Now, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Check, 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 41. Throwing on first down is Allen. And the grab by Croft. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Allen to throw. And this will be incomplete. Not passing the play on the football there, and it's second down. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back one more time. Didn't work there. And the throw caught now. by Jones. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 16. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. There defensively was Matthias Farley to knock it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Allen's going to throw. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. See ya. Dawson Knox. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Although it's more commonplace now than at any other time in the NFL, it's still tough to think about throwing a rookie quarterback right into the fire week one. But guess what? He handled the fire awfully well and threw his first touchdown pass. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. This one taken from the seven. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And now out come the Jets. 
And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From the 29, Darner. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. He was the leading receiver for the Jets a season ago, Robbie Anderson, 50 catches over 750 yards and getting more and more comfortable with Sam Darnold. Now a year plus under their belts collectively. You'd figure that those numbers for Anderson might be trending further north. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Bell. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Third and two, Darnold. And it's caught by Herndon. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. On first and 10, Darnold out right here to Herndon. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, nope. balls out of his hands, right. right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Again, Darnold, a screen to Bell. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. After one, 17-7 is our score. Darnold going to lead the offense up first and 10. And he's 6 of 7 now on this drive. Darnold completes it. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Throwing again on second down. Darnold. Credit that breakup to Greedy Williams. A good number of Dang coaches it. at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bell. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that's going to make it fourth down. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. And his kick is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to 10. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you can sell yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Get the fuck out of here. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Allen. And that's complete to Croft. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game. And they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. 12 more yards there and another first down. Allen now 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second and seven, Allen works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 29-yard line. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen, and that is incomplete. T.J. Yeldon, the one he was looking for. Third down here. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now Allen. And that will be incomplete. Oh, That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And this one is right down Broadway. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This will be taken about the 12. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The New York set to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Darnold off the play fake to Bell. That's caught right side by Anderson. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Herndon's got it complete. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Dang really yeah. nice open field tackle. A terrific return there, 27 yards all told. And that will come the offense as they take over. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, seven yards there and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. 
So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll give this to Singletary running right. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a first down on a gain of 10. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Singletary here running out of the gun. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. Shoot. 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 He's got the hook up to John Brown on the right side. You got it. You got it. You got it. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Hey, box drop, box drop. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And hauled in by Croft. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the opener. And it's a first down. It's a first down. They'll run on first down. Singletary. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. They'll run with Pollard, and he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Now a carry here for the fullback, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And this one is right through. And that will stretch the lead up to 13. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And New York set to take the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And a great return as he takes this up just shy of the 45. A new law, the intended target. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit, thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We 
remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And he's going to get this mm -hmm. inside I'm the RB 30. Fuck you. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. He's making quite a splash here in his NFL debut. Well, he was advertised as being NFL ready, and both you and I tend to arch an eyebrow a little bit when we first hear that. But I think that they were right about this one. On first down, Singletary. He was brought down by Brandon Copeland. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On the left side, he finds Beasley. 16 yards, a first down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Quinnen Williams in there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Singletary. He will push his way down to about the 14. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. On third and long, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? It creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Darnold. Open man left side. That's the tight end, Herndon. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Four yards the pick up, first down. Darnold on first down. Got an open man, it's a noon one. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. A final shot before the break. Darnold is going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And a little floater there is incomplete. So, all right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. 
The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Now Allen to throw. From the gun, he'll throw. Dancing to his left. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, yeah! So good coverage there defensively as it looks like they'll force a punt on this opening drive of the third. Well, let's coach them up a little bit from right here in the booth. That's exactly what they needed to do. They need to start stringing together some stops, turning the ball over oh. back to their offense, and trying to get back into this game. Yeah, a couple scores down, but they can eat into that quickly with a nice drive here on the other side. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Give them nine there on the first down completion. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard okay. from the 34. Okay. Now this is Le'Veon Bell with a reception. Yeah, I heard, I heard a Two out. yards, good enough for a first. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 14 yards is the pickup there to Jet first down. A first down throw, Darnold. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver yeah, before like any that. defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly yeah, executed crossing yeah. route. And by the end of no, last year, Hernan had solidified himself as the primary tight end for New York. And overall, second leading receiver in 2018 on the team behind Robbie Anderson. Back to his 39 catches, most among rookie tight ends in the league a season ago. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. To throw again on second down. Darnold hooking up over the middle with Herndon. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 13-yard line. Darnold going to lead the offense up first and 10. And he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. His pass called. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Taking it in from two yards out as his guys are able to pull a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Now Adam Gase has put a pair of fingers up in the air. His offense is going to go for two. Oh, wow. from the gun. This is caught. And he'll wind up short of the goal line, so they will not be able to get this back within a score as this remains a 10-point differential. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wondered maybe running the ball might be the way to go. When you move down from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. 
They go right back to Singletary. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They'll run on first down. Singletary. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Well, it's just the 72 as long as he knows he's hurt and stuff like that, so he's okay with it, I mean. Now a run with Singletary. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Clinton Williams in there to record the second sack of his young of day, NFL career. The like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there. No return. And New York set to take the field. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and 10 at their own 16. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. <laughs> and they'll get him down here at the 23. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. It's a pickup of six. On first down, Bell, a pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. Still no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Out right here to Herndon. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Brandon, they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play. I might but the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. I'll protect from on the play. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. I didn't get that so I'm going to need They'll keep it on the ground. Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Killer! 
On third down, they go with Singletary. Call it no game there, and it leads to a fourth down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time to make sure you get in shape. And we put our focus now on Le'Veon Bell. We've seen him be good so far. He's hoping to continue that trend here in quarter number three. And typically when you see guys running it this well, they see the game in slow motion, don't they? They see the cuts happen. They see the blocks happen. They feel really good about their vision. And then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to boot. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10. Now it's Darnold. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Have, holy shit. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Anunua's got it, complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Bell. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend, show that he's right. Here's Darnold. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And now Anderson is slow to get up. Staying down after that last play. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Darnold for the red zone now. Looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Donald now to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. To the air again, Darnold. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Off. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live foot weaving through traffic, and now he's free. He's at the 50, the 30, past the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. In for the score. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Point after here coming up. No lead safe in the new NFL, but this score is really going to give them some needed breathing room. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. Back now here on EA Sports, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. This is taken near the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And New York set to take the field. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown, that field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick, obviously the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. On first down, it's Darnold. That's complete. It's Bell. 
Call it a gain of three, and it'll make it second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. To throw is Darnold. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Again, Darnold. A screen to Bell. They'll get six on the dump off, but it'll bring up a fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They'll run it with Bell. And the surge is going to be too much defensively. He's hit and taken down to the backfield. Le'Veon Bell stops short of the line to gain. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10. Jim, 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 Jim. Singletary to get the drive started. Mm -mm. And this one goes no. Actually, I need to take him out because he's had his 25 carries. Where? Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Going to run again here with Pollard. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt. Certainly not what he wanted. The New York set to take the field. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they've got to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that loosen up things a little bit, won't it? Maybe you'll play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. The shotgun snap for Darnold. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And a quick slant gets exactly 10. And by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Darnold. And a hit turned in over the middle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards that time. Darnold going to lead the offense up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Darnold. Throw left side complete. That's Bell. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be a second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw and a good one. Throwing again is Darnold. This is caught inside the 15. Mm. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. Yeah. 
from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Off the edge, Jerry Hughes gets the sack. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. That catch good for five. It's third down. Third and long, it's Darnold. That is caught at the seven. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. The field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. They snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. And this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bills are going to get the football back. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it? Should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. Jordan Jenkins there on the tackle. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. On first down, Singletary. And not much there. Maybe a yard up in the 24. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Throwing his Allen on third. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And New York set to take the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll take this from 147-yard line to the other. A gain of six. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. 
Keeps the sticks moving. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Back to throw, Darnold. And that is incomplete. Greedy Williams, the rookie out of LSU, there to knock it away. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Here's Darnold. And it's caught by Herndon. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. And it's caught. What? And he's in. <laughs> oh Touchdown, God. Jets. From 13 yards out, and the Jets are able to cut into this deficit. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. And the Bills are going to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. They'll run on first down. Singletary. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. To throw is Allen. And that's complete to Croft. A big pickup there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Here we go. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Back to throw. Allen. And he's got it. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. From 21 yards away. And the Bills will add on to their lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clencher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. So Allen breaks the huddle, and his guys will go for two here. Now a toss coming right side. Pollard. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Well, partner, since this new two-point rule came into play, offense has spent a lot more time working on it. That means the defenses are doing the exact same thing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And solid field position here to start as they get it out to the 40-yard line. There's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession. And to get a return like that to start things off, that's the spark that they needed. That's the spark they were looking for. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. A first down throw, Darnold. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. 
Teron Johnson able to pick it, and he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. Let's go, D. Tighten up. Check, check. Lucky. Tight, 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 tight. On first down, Singletary. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So Allen's going to look to throw. His throw incomplete. The linebacker C.J. Mosley there in coverage. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Allen. Wide open receiver complete. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 56, 56. From the gun, it's Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the Bills... Not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday yes. night. Yeah, they'll have victory. another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Jets, mm, they go down to defeat four, here four in the yards, opener. I mean, and they'll get a chance to yes. redeem themselves at home next 32, week. 30 for 80. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on the Ace Sports. Four, <laughs> uh, two, three, four, five drops. I wonder if they had more drops than I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm say about the same. Milano was 16. Mosley had 17. Get the fuck out of here. Five rooms. One, two, four, six. One by Hughes. One by Sweet. One by Johnson. One by Williams. One by Hyde. One by Pol Polite. Nice. Boyer had the recovery. Eight yards. Blocked by Johnson, who had an interception. No safety. Two touchdowns. One by Poyer. One by Greedy Williams. Picking game. Three for three, four for four. Very good. Five for 37 because he had one for like 10 yards. Kick return. Four for 106. 26. Not bad. 18. Not bad. 